Hi, I'm Aaron Boria, and welcome to my video blog. Today I'm going to be doing seared ahi tuna, restaurant style. So get ready. I've got two ahi tuna steaks here that I've got individually wrapped. These were frozen, and what I did was I seasoned both sides of them with salt and pepper, and then I put a little bit of soy and honey in there that that could kind of soak and marinate. I'm also going to do Brussels sprouts that are going to come out crispy. I'm going to bake them. So if you don't like Brussels sprouts because they're squishy or they're kind of gross, you really should try this. They are delicious. It's almost as if they've been fried. In my baking dish, I've got some Brussels sprouts that have been halved, some canola oil, garlic, salt, pepper. All right, you're going to stir these bad boys up, stick them in the oven for about 40 minutes on 400, stirring them twice. And of course, we have to have a drink for the evening. Tonight, the cocktail of the evening will be a Sazerac. I don't care if I'm saying it right or wrong, I'm gonna make it right. So we've got some bitters, a lemon peel, some absinthe, some rye bourbon, you got a glass getting cold, you got a little shake with a little bit of ice in it. Step one, put a little bit of bourbon in your shaker. Gonna add a little bit of sugar or simple syrup if you've got it. Add your bitters. Shake it up. Dominic wants some. You're gonna dump your glass that had the ice and water in it and put in just a touch of absinthe. Swirl it around. And dump the extra out. See how it's coating the glass? what you want. You take your bourbon mixture and pour it in. Hit that bad boy with your lemon peel. Boom. Look at that. Oh yeah. For the tuna, we are going to sear this stuff hot. So you're going to need some peanut oil. It's got a high smoke point. It's perfect for this. All right, you're going to add enough peanut oil to coat the pan. I'm going up to pretty hot. Almost, well, that's a nine, nine out of ten. You don't have to, but I like to encrust mine with sesame seeds. These steaks are going to cook fast. I'm talking like one minute each side tops. Any more than that, you're going to end up with a well done center. This pan is hot. And they are going in. Make sure that they're touching on all sides. Sounds like it's Sazerac time. All right, it has not even been a minute yet. And I'm already getting char. You can see that the seeds are browning. That is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to flip them over again. It is so damn hot. I'm probably going to go about 30, 45 seconds top. All right, I just removed the pan from the heat. See that both sides are nice and toasted now. I'm going to pull these off. Now you could serve them immediately, but I like mine cold, like kind of sashimi style. So I'm actually going to throw these in the fridge or you could even throw them in the freezer for a minute if you're in a hurry. All right, while those go in the freezer, I'm going to check out my Brussels sprouts, looking nice and crispy. I'm going to throw on about a tablespoon of butter that I cubed up. I'm going to mix it in, throw them back in the oven for about five minutes. Just pull the sprouts out, they're looking great. I'm going to hit them with a little bit of balsamic reduction. This is actually a strawberry fig reduced balsamic. Now, of course, you can reduce your own um, or use any kind you like. Oh, man, look how thick that is. It's going to be delicious. And then once I get a little of this on here, throw a little salt on, and these bad boys are done. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the steak. I'm going to cut it real thin, and as you can see, it is perfectly cooked. And there you have some nice looking Brussels sprouts with some seared ahi tuna, extra rare.